Scorpio, namaste. This is going to be your 2021 forecast. I'm going to go through every single month, giving you a general energy and a love energy card. I'm using uh, two tarot decks, my angel tarot and my animal tarot. So those of you who are familiar with me or, or this reading, you know it's like backed by popular demand. People were saying, well, you know, can you please do the, the, the annual forecast again? But normally when I do it, or the past couple of years that I've done it, I've used what I call my hashtag creepy deck. And so those of you who do watch me with any kind of regularity, you may have noticed you haven't seen it in a while. I had stopped using it. I don't know what I did with the cards. I mean, I didn't realize they were lost until I went to do this, but you know, I, I don't I don't know when's even the last time that I use them to, you know, it's like to jog my memory or something. But I went in my drawer where I keep all my boxes of cards very neatly organized, opened the drawer, pulled out the box, pulled, you know, opened it. It's empty. Well, it's not empty. The booklet's in there, but there's no cards. And I'm like, what did I do with the cards? I don't know. So the reading is back, but not with the cards. We're using different cards, but this has been working out really well. So this is, like I said, it's two decks. It's the major arcana cards only of the angel and arrow, um, animal tarots. And then if I need to do any clarification, I'll be using um, the minor arcana from the same two decks to do the clarification, which I've also already shuffled for you. I like to pull upright cards, so I like to use these decks for that because with the right away, I can't tell which direction the card is. I just pull the next card when I'm doing clarification. But with this, if this card wasn't upright, let's say, I would keep, or or this one wasn't, I'd keep looking until I found one that was. So, I mean, that can go on sometimes, and we really make sure that we pull the right card, um, the ones that the guides want us to use. So, on that note... Let's get started with your reading. We'll begin with Major Arcana card four, the Emperor, which does in part represent your sign, represents the planet Mars, who is one of your rulers, um, as well as that of Aries. And so this is your energy, the Emperor. Organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. So the Emperor is often um, like a boss, an authority, a father or a father figure, a married man, a divorcee, a widower, a man with children. Uh, somebody taking charge of their own life or taking back control of their life, leadership, you know, a supervisory capacity or managerial capacity in some way could definitely be that with the wheel immediately behind it. Also upright. The next card is justice. It's in reverse. So we'll stop there. Expect a sudden positive change in your life. You can now move forward and make great progress. The wheel represents the planet Jupiter and the sign of Sagittarius, which it rules, but it's also tied to the fixed sign. So that would again be your own energy. The fixed signs are Scorpio, Leo, Taurus and Aquarius. So that's what the wheel is all about. And these two cards together have different meanings. So um, one that's really positive is like take accepting good advice and you know from somebody, taking it and doing something really positive with like applying it in a nick of time and it's some sort of saving grace in some way. And then there's others that are a little bit more concerning, like um it can be an indication of some sort of physical danger in one's work or like some sort of combat or something, like war, fighting. Um, can also be about, um, uh, how do you say? Like too much of a good thing, overdoing something. Yeah. Like extremes, extreme overdoing or um, overexertion, too much, too much work, too much something. I don't know. Just if that, if any of those things that I said apply to you, just keep that in mind. Otherwise, like I said, these are two positive cards um, and could definitely be about a promotion or a raise or increase or responsibility. Um, like, you know, being put in charge of again, managing or supervising a group of, you know, or something. And there's some sort of abundance attached to it, associated with it, reward or award or recognition. That comes with it. Ah, here's your energy too. Major Arcana card 13. It's called release here, but this is death. The end of a phase or situation. Spiritual transformation. It's time to move on. I'm just going to shuffle a little bit this deck. Like I said, if I have to clarify something, I won't shuffle the other cards. Um, trust me that they're pre-shuffled. Major Arcana card 15. Ego or the devil.
the lovers. And the sun. I think I'll cut there. So that gives us a new overall energy of Major Arcana card 12. It's called Awakening here, but this is actually the Hangman, which represents the sign of Pisces most directly. Look at things from a different perspective. You're at a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. This is like an air of suspension, um, feeling like you're in limbo. You, you're waiting for some sort of information, maybe, or something, or something to happen to give you an idea of what your next move should be. Uh, the hangman often has to do with the need to let something go, whether it's something physical and tangible, um, you know, that you can touch and feel, or, you know, something like a relationship, or it's an emotion, you know, it's like time to, or, or like the past. It could be that, let go of the past, it could be um, why the hangman would show up. So now I'm going to go around, I'm going to put... Um, three rows of four cards here that are going to be for your general energy and I'm going to go around again with another three rows of four cards for your love energy for the month so it's one card um, for each energy for each month January through December 2021 Got two for October. I guess that could be a birthday month for some of you. Um, all right. January. General energy. We're starting with the moon, Major Arcana card 18. Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. The moon represents the sign of Pisces. It's very much about a need to pay attention to your intuition, your instincts, any gut feelings, you know, those butterflies or a sinking feeling or, you know, it's like someone's telling me not to do that. Then don't. It's like really a time where it's very important that you pay attention to any signs, synchronicities, repeating numbers, name recognitions, sounds and things, anything that's jarring to you that makes you think that it's about something, it probably is and you should pay attention to those inklings. Love and relationship, major arcana card eight, justice. Fair and just decisions, do what you know is right, stand up for your beliefs. So in a general sense, you know, traditional tarot, justice, uh, which represents the sign of Libra, in a love, in the love placement is not very necessarily great um it can often be about in a relationship particularly a long-term relationship like a long-term commitment coming to an end and it can be about legality so it may even be actual divorce um for somebody for others you're going to need to very likely have a conversation um about your relationship and whether and determine whether or not you and your partner both are interested in saving it. If you're single, then it can be about, you know, like the imbalances in your life and in that, that area. And like, maybe you are, um, trying in the wrong areas. You need to like try a new methodology, a dynamic. You can meet some people in maybe places that are more unusual haunts for you, not your typical way, not your typical type. It could be about, you know, trying something different and, you know, finding balance in that way. February. Let's hope this is more exciting. General. It's the emperor again. Organization and logic, structure and discipline and leadership. So again, this can be about promotion, increase, taking control of your life, a leadership role, maybe a literal leadership role, like a supervisory role, managerial, or perhaps, you know, as a father, uh, maybe even becoming a father, or could be something having to do with being a married man. Maybe it's connected to, again, this divorce, because it can be about a divorcee for me, a widower, all those types of things. And love and relationship is the high priestess. 
This is the time to pause and to reflect, not to take action. Trust in your spiritual gifts as nothing is hidden from your divine intuition. The high priestess uh, has an energy of Gemini, is very like mysterious and intriguing. Um, sometimes a lot of suitors, a lot of people interested uh, in the high priestess just want to be around her, just want to be near her because she exudes, you know, like this wisdom and um mystery she's magical she's spiritual and it's just like i just need some of that like on me you know i gotta get some and so there's a lot of people who are interested in her for you this can be um a high priestess type of person in which you're interested and or this could be you and you could have a lot of people pursuing you um or a lot of options in terms of your love and your relationships um and thing which from which to choose uh, twos are also, it's Major Arcana Card 2, twos are about balance and also about partnership and relationships. And so this can be about also finding balance in your relationships and a, a deepening maybe of a commitment. It's a more positive card in terms of love and relationship than perhaps justice. But maybe like somebody's divorce is final in January. And so now they're single and there's a whole bunch of people interested in them mingling. You know what I mean? Um, March, general energy. The temperance card, it's called balance here. We've been talking about balance and now the card is called balance. Major Arcana card 14. Um, but it is temperance from the traditional tarot. Represents the sign of Sagittarius. And for me, it was always also attached to Aquarius because I can't get past this water bearer energy um, on the front of the card. The need for balance and moderation. Cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. So in a... Um, General sense, temperance is about, for me, restoration and recovery. Where something was lost or stolen from you, feel like it was taken, you're getting back something of equal or greater value. Or maybe you're getting the actual thing, you know, the exact same thing returned to you. Um, relationships that suffered from differences and, you know, discord, we can't even have a conversation. We're figuring out how to come together despite our differences and maybe setting our differences aside and still being able to work something out. This is a card of collaboration, negotiations, compromises. So it could, again, like for somebody whose divorce is not final, for example, it could be us in court literally trying to come to some sort of compromise, some sort of negotiations. You get the house, I get this, you know, account or whatever, um, and figuring things out that way. Love and relationship. The star, very nice. Major Arcana card, 17, the star, represents the sign of Aquarius. Like I said, this is Aquarius for me too. Uh, so Aquari an Aquarian could be very significant. Happy times make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. So you're looking forward. You're looking ahead. And you are on the right path. Uh, in terms of love, this is a card of communication, um, maybe involving some sort of... Um, Media, like technology, FaceTime, Skype, online dating, all these sorts of things. Like I said, looking for somebody in your in unusual haunts. Maybe you're not used to online dating. You've never done it before. I've never done it before. You know, and this is your first time. I'm going to give that online dating thing a try. And that may work out for you. Um, the star is also about prayers being answered, wishes being granted, dreams coming true. So you may have successfully manifested the type of relationship or partner that you've been looking for. Or, yeah. Um, April, general energy. It is your energy yet again. Now, so much of you between the emperor and death. Um, but this is death, the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation. It's time to move on. So this could be the actual end of something like, oh, I was working this contract. It just finished. It's the end of that. I'm going to work. I'm going to go into something else. Um, oh, I've been, you know pregnant for nine months. I just delivered the baby. <laughs> it's the end of that. So like a physical end, um, or we just broke up physical end of a relationship, or it can be like, you're just spiritually and emotionally transitioning into a new space that is better for you. And wow, look what you have in the position of love and relationship, the lovers major arcana card six, which represents the sign of Gemini intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. So you have here um, the sign of Gemini as well with the high priestess in February. Maybe this is connection with a Gemini and then by April, I mean, for some, obviously not for everybody, but for, for somebody for whom I'm reading, um, 
connection with the Gemini and prayers that it works out. Maybe you've had differences. Maybe you know this person already and you've had differences in the past. And so that's what temperance is about, getting moving past those. And then in April, you're happy. There's a connection. And you're letting that past go. That's the energy of death and deciding to move on with the relationship with the energy of the lovers. Very nice. May, general energy. The tower. A significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. It's time to spread your wings. So for some, this can have to do with an actual tower, building structure like a home or something. For others, um, this can be like a major revelation, like, oh, I get it now, aha moment. Maybe about this person, okay? Again, somebody that you knew from your past um, or about your relationship. I understand now, you know, could be something like that. Or um, something else you're going through. But this would be one of those moments where I'll pull a clarifier. However, in love and relationship, things look pretty positive. It is the sun. Your plans will work out well, bringing you happiness, prosperity, and success. You'll garner the recognition for your accomplishments that you so richly deserve. The sun represents the sign of uh, Sagittarius. And the sun, specifically with regard to love... In the tarot, like traditional tarot, um, can be about a need for a break. So one partner or another may need a break. And if that's the case, it's important to give each other your space. Or you guys may need a break together. And this is summertime and we've all been quarantined for far too long and stuff. And maybe we're finally able to move safely about the cabin. <laughs> um, maybe you're going to take a break together. Perhaps to somewhere in a sunny climate or it's summertime. It's, this is May. So it's warm wherever you are. Those are possibilities as well. It's important to not get upset with your partner if they're the one that needs space when the sun comes up. Uh, it's typically about them having something else going on that has nothing to do with you. It's not that they're upset with you or they want to get away from you. They're dealing with something. And it could just be like exhaustion from who knows what, from whatever, something. And you know what? It's sitting underneath... This is, oh no, I was going to say it's sitting underneath where I was feeling um, maybe something from physical work, but that was your, your beginning cards. That was the devil and um, the wheel. Okay, June. It's another sun. So again, things still going. I think I just had another sign that had these two suns back to back in this area. Maybe Libra. Libra or Virgo. It couldn't be before that. A happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success if you have confidence in yourself. So somebody did have some sort of physical hurt or something. Um, this is a sign of, of wellness, of getting better. And, you know, it can be connected specifically to something involving rays. So like cancer, you know, um, chemo or radiation or something that requires like an MRI or a CAT scan, a sonogram, an X-ray, those things turning out well. It can be the end of somebody's treatment. Like, oh, today's your last radiation treatment this month. Here's your last chemo. Uh, and just things working out well. If this is tied to whatever I was seeing, again, at the start of your reading in terms of somebody possibly being hurt on their job or in some sort of physical danger on their job, Maybe sickness from COVID. Maybe that's what the sun is about. Fevers. Um, again, whatever whatever was going on with this, the sun is an indication of positivity and things working out well and getting better. So you have two back to back. Um, I think that that is not only like confirmation, but reconfirmation. So I hope that you agree. And then love and relationship is the magician. There's magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. So um, this is more Gemini energy for one thing, but it's also about bringing about whatever positives or negatives for that matter in your life that you focus on. So you got to be careful. When the magician shows up, it's telling you this is a really like strong time of manifestation for you. You, you. you could be manifesting things like almost instantly. So you want to make sure that you're not thinking or speaking anything negative over your life because you can pull that in just as easily as you can the positive stuff. Well, I meant to pull a card for the tower. Um, I skipped over that. So 
Let's do that now. So this is the deck upright. We're beginning for you with the Ten of Swords. The end of a career path, project, or relationship brings feelings of mixed joy and sadness, relief and disappointment. Put aside your fears about these changes and trust that a brighter future awaits. And we're pulling the next upright card, and that is this one for the tower. And it is the Four of Swords. So this is a card of restoration and recovery as well. And maybe even the need for a vacation. <laughs> So it's funny because it's landing here with this tower um, and sun where I just talked about that. Time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. The next card is upright too. I'll just be greedy and pull that one as well. And it's the Knight of Wands who is passionate, adventurous, self-assured, and restless. A sudden event that needs immediate attention Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. Well, the Knight of Wands is also a very pos positive card and it's um, very fast moving energy and it can be energy of travel. Wands are about movement and a um, the, king, the Knight of Wands rather is a Sagittarius, Aries or Leo or someone likened to those traits or attributes. So it could definitely be connected to this Sagittarius energy. And again, is something positive, but I just wanted to make sure for you because people see the tower and they get all sorts of, you know, upset about it. Uh, July, general energy. It is the hangman again. Look at things in a different way and all will make sense. Don't worry if your progress is halted temporarily. Things will soon start moving again. So again, the hangman is about letting go of something, often just an energy, an emotion, uh, a negative one or a negative experience, set of experiences, the past, releasing it um, or considering other scenarios, other, other sides of a situation. Like, you know, we all, there's, they always say there's his story, her story, and the, the, the truth is somewhere in the middle. Trying to pay attention to all three of those and weigh them. That's what the hangman is about. Represents the energy of, of Pisces. And then we have judgment in your love and relationship. It's time to get clarity about your life purpose and to make changes that so that you're on the path most divinely suited to you. Forgive what has been without judgment. So that could be what you're letting go of. Fearlessly embrace what's to come. You could be letting go of any judgment, any harsh or hard feelings against someone, including yourself, uh, in a situation. These two cards together can have something to do with um, reputation, like people like being publicly known, fame even, recognition. So like I said, judge, judgment is about abundance for me, an abundance that's earned. If they're coupled together, it could be abundance um, in some sort or recognition in some sort of form where um, it, it's grant, it's bringing about like fame and people know you, even if it's not fame in terms of, oh, look, you're on TV. I mean, it could be that, but like fame maybe in your own neighborhood or in your industry at work or um, in terms of your relationship, people admiring like, oh, there's, you know, an example of um, what it's supposed to be like, you know, like hashtag couples goals or something like that. But this could also be your reward from the universe, or finally like a relationship that what you've tried to manifest, that what you really wanted. It's sitting here under the star too, that thing that you were hoping for, the type of relationship you were hoping for, the type of partner coming to you because you've earned it, um, you know, either through some work or you know, like fit labor that you've done on this plane or through like your karma and what you've done, you know, to uh, toward and for the universe. We get rewarded for that. August, general energy. It is the Empress. Lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. The Empress represents the planet Venus and the signs of Taurus, Libra, and Gemini that she rules. Um, it is a card of abundance and growth and expansion. And again, this could be tied to promotion that falls the month before. Um, it can be very literal in terms of fertility and sex, you know, having some, <laughs> um, you know, good for you in that case, maybe um, becoming pregnant or learning that you're pregnant or even giving birth. And love and relationship, it's another wheel. 
Expect a sudden positive change in your life. You can now move forward and make great progress. So it comes after judgment. Um, this could be, like I said, it could be attached to this, to justice and a judgment of divorce. You know, so like that's final. Um, and so now that's a positive change for you and you can move forward with your life. It can be um, some sort of increase, maybe again, in addition to the family, becoming pregnant. It, these are both cards of positive um, energy coming towards you. For um, September, general energy, I'm sorry, general energy is the fool. You're starting a new adventure. Run free and take a leap of faith. So I think it's whatever, again, you, you gained here, garnered here. Now it's in effect and it's a brand new path for you and you're off. And then in love and relationship, something, some aspect of the relationship or something involving you and probably your partnership or your um, singleness or coupleness, you know, whatever applies, is coming to an end and will never exist in that way again. A job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, and the path toward enlightenment. The world for me is represents some sort of fire energy. Uh, it feels like fire, so it could be tied to this night of fire or whatever was going on here, perhaps. October. General energy is the emperor again. Structure and organization are important right now. Don't be afraid to take on a leadership role as you have much wisdom to offer. This can be having some sort of contact with a government agency um, or a large corporation or, again, you you know, fatherhood um, or something involving like an older man, a married man, a divorcee, somebody who is stable and secure and kind of has their shit together and you know has been around the block as they say and um you know can handle business is it maybe, maybe even some sort of a thought it's authoritarian and then in your love and relationship you have the fool again so you had the fool here in your general energy the month before in september um one of these fell one of these flew out as you recall and one was you know the next card that i pulled for you so I should have taken note of which was which. I did not. But you have another fool. A leap of faith. Follow your dreams. At least the unexpected opportunities. This is in your love life. And you have um, another high priestess in the same column too. Listen to your intuition. Have patience and consider carefully what you want before acting. And I think some of you are specifically going after a Gemini. She may be older. I'm saying she, you know, the high priestess. Um, she may be older and she may even be somebody who was, you know, extremely like spiritual and maybe even, you know, a bit magical and mysterious and somebody that you thought a relationship couldn't possibly work with her. Um, but you're doing it. And I say that because... You've gotten Gemini energy in your love and relationship placement a number of times. It's here with the magician. It's here with the high priestess. It's here with the lovers. And now it's here with this dreamer and with this high priestess. I don't know if I mentioned to you, but this particular dreamer card, like this specific card in this deck, has always felt to me since the day I opened the box of cards like the planet Mercury. Um, <laughs> the planet Mercury rules the signs of Gemini and Virgo. So it... Oh, this card re represents them for me too. I think I want to say something else about this, but I'm not sure what it is. Um, yeah, I think it would be that the action that can be associated with these two cards as a pair might not be easy. So like, like I said, it could be you deciding I'm going to go ahead and go for that person that I've have felt has been out of my reach, unattainable, unavailable um, for me. So that's that can be difficult. It's challenging for you, right? It, it, I apologize, Scorpio. Something happened to the camera and shut itself off. That's that's the first time this has happened since I've been doing these. You're the first, hopefully the first and the last sign that that's happened with. But I was talking specifically about um, the dreamer and the high priestess. So 
I was saying the ch it can be a challenge for you because this is like a big step for you to um, go after this person, very likely a female, a feminine archetype that, you know, you otherwise feel has been sort of out of reach because maybe they're like a larger than life figure to you um, or somebody else maybe has been in your ear and told you, you know, to stay away or gotten some sort of vibe that this person is um, unavailable in some way. And sometimes what the high priestess pops up, I mean, it's possible that that's true, but the dream is telling you to go for it. The fool is telling you to go for it. So um, the reward is going to be very, very fast. Like the, so the, the challenge can be difficult, and, but the, the payment, the reward for you trusting your instincts, your faith, um, you know, yourself, the universe, God, the reward will be very, very quickly manifested is what I'm getting from this energy here with Mercury. Um, November, another birthday month. And speaking of very quickly manifested with Mercury, we have Major Arcana card one, the magician. So this is going to be another very, very magical month for you where you can do just about anything you want, draw any and everything to your, your life that you want or need. You have tremendous manifestation power, and it's going to be very important to f make sure that your focus is on positive things and those things you do want in your life because just as quickly you can manifest negativity. You are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them and life is magical. Excuse me. So again, this is more Gemini energy also or, or that of Mercury. Oh, but what do we have here? We have the devil. Interesting. Well, Mercury does enter Capricorn perhaps around this time. It's happening around this time um, in this year. So maybe it's around this time then too. We'll see. I don't know what this could be. Or it could be a Mercury retrograde, um, perhaps too, that's making you feel inhibited. Um, or with the just looking at the devil on its own, separate and apart from the magician, in the position of love and relationship. Doesn't mean that the relationship has to come to an end or that there's gonna be a breakup or something, but it definitely means that there's something's off, something's not right, and a conversation needs to be had. You may feel that you're trapped in your situation. But that's not true. Be careful not to overly focus upon material wealth and break free of negative thinking. If you're single and you're looking for, and you might feel like you're stuck in singleness, there's something different that you need to try. You need to change your, you know, the way that you go about, you know, opening yourself up to relationships. Maybe there's a fear that's holding you back. You're worried about being treated the same way you were treated in some other relationship or something. You're carrying baggage, all kinds of things that you need, may need to, um, you know, go within to sort of observe and, you know, do some introspection and, and make a determination what that might be about. Together, these cards can be about something going on with a reputation, like a bad reputation. And under, oh, here I was just talking about fame, just right on top of it with judgment and um, the hangman. I was just talking about fame and a good reputation. Somebody could be talking about you or the love interest um, like I was saying here, somebody could be like in your ear saying negative things about the person and maybe that's why you've avoided them. I'm not sure why you've avoided them, <laughs> but yeah, if we look at the, the two cards together, it could be about reputation. And last but not least, December 2021, it is another judgment. So maybe that is corrected because I I was drawn to the previous judgment where I talked about good reputation. So maybe that's corrected. Maybe something, again, like I said, there's rumors, there's gossip, there's something that's not nice, but then that's corrected. And review and evaluate the favorable assessment of the facts. It's time to move in a new direction. So this is another two. It is about partnerships, perhaps relationships, faith, two is about faith, um, balance, healthy relationships, all those kinds of things. Uh, again, second chances, second time around. Um, coming to a crossroad in a relationship, perhaps, and needing to decide where do we go from here, if anywhere. And some of us are going to go, you know, all the way. And for some of us, we'll decide it's the end of the road. And we'll, you know, and that's going to be okay. That's going to be fine. It's amicable. This, again, is about abundance that's earned. It's positive energy. It's, it's gifts from the universe that are coming to you. 
And last but not least, in your love and relationship, strength. And it's another two. So you've got two twos or an 11-11. Um, true strength is displayed through kindness, forgiveness, and compassion. You have tremendous personal power. Major Arcana card strength represents the sign of Leo. And it is about, ha in relationships, love, and you know, like mutual love and respect and adoration and support for one another. Holding each other down or holding each other up, right? You know, supporting one another. I, I got you. Um, it is reciprocity. It is support. It is, um, you know, like truly loving relationships that you can depend on. Very, very positive card in any area of your life in which it, you know, shows up. In this case, loving relationship. I hope that you um, have enjoyed your reading and that you have a great year. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I try to answer or respond to each and every comment that I receive. And when you're subscribing, please hit both the subscribe button and the bell button so that you'll hopefully get your notifications. I do appreciate it all. Thank you for watching. Namaste, Scorpio.